Okay, we are out in the workshop and I've just completed the latest DIY project and it is the pizza paddle base. This is made from a pizza paddle. Um, so I apologize for the shaky and uh, somewhat uh, crappy lighting here. Um, but I just finished it, just put the strings on it and tuned them up here. It's got flat wound strings on it. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, hopefully you can. But this is the E and the A string from a standard set of flat wound strings. It's got a 30 inch scale. It is made from a pizza paddle. And um, this paddle came from a restaurant store. Um, and I originally had the idea to make a guitar out of it. And uh, basically I started looking at it and then realized it would be about perfect for a 30 inch scale, which is perfect for a bass and I don't have a bass. And uh, so there you go, you see where the tuners are at and then where the bridge is at, it's about perfect for a 30 inch scale. I'm really happy with this the, with the way this came out because um, it just kind of came out of nowhere. But I made a couple mistakes. I'm going to talk about those in a second. But first, let's kind of go over everything. So it's got a volume and tone knob and a jack here. Uh, two independent single string bridges that are fully adjustable, which was needed to get the right uh, clearance and everything here. It's got a P-Bass pickup in there. Um, my first mistake, I'll talk about it right now. Uh, I put, well, here, let's flip this up. So you can see I put another board behind. Let me if I flip it over. It's easier. There we go. I put another board behind to strengthen this, and then I put a little extra, um, a tapered piece of uh, square dowel here. I just sanded it off and tapered it, as you can see there, to give extra strength to the neck, because the initially, the paddle here was not very strong. I could just flex it with my hands. So I wanted to make sure it was nice and strong. So I put this piece of wood here, this piece of poplar, and then you can see it kind of dated that in there, and used a square dowel and just, uh, you know, kind of tapered it off so it's not, you see it gets thicker as it goes down. Um, so that's kind of how I made this. Well, my first mistake, what I should have done is I should have cut this pickup hole before I put this on. Because after I put it on, I realized, oh crap, I've got to route it. So I had to route it with a Forstner bit and the route was not pretty, far from pretty. Um, but luckily I had this piece of um, pickup ring here that allowed me to cover the ugliness. Um, but if I was to do that again, I would cut it first, then glue the back on. The other thing that would have allowed me to do is cut a wire route down from the channel and right into the pickup cavity here. Uh, but since it was already glued, I had to route it on the top side. So you see I made this little, um, what is this, like a quarter inch or eighth inch, whatever it is, piece of, uh, of uh, um, poplar to cover that. And I rounded it all out. It's rounded in this direction and in this direction. So I rounded it out so it doesn't snag you. <laughs> And then I made a control cavity cover for right here. Underneath here, you see all the wiring, and we do have a, the pots and the tone cap and all of that in there. Additionally, I made a main ground in there um, so that everything is nicely grounded. Um, again, if I would have been thinking, I would have actually cut that ground, and it could have gone all the way up under the bridge and grounded on the bridge. But since I glued this on first, silly me. Um, so that was one mistake that I made that I would do differently is how I would cut the uh, pickup channel. This is the first time I've tried to do anything that was a solid body though. So, you know, live and learn. But overall, I'm not um, sad with the way this came out. Um, the fretboard here, or fingerboard, I guess, because there are no frets. As you can see, it is a fretless base. I've got some lines marked there. Um, and it is a piece of walnut and I oiled it and it looks uh, beautiful. Um, it ended up looking real nice. It's just a straight piece of walnut. Uh, and then when I got to the nut, you know, I, I've been working on this for a while because like I said, I've never done a solid body. Um, I just kind of was learning as I go. I, I had, I really started with nothing, had to kind of find out the parts as I went. So this was kind of a morphing uh, uh, project. But uh, I got to the point of the nut and I was not sure what I was going to do for the nut. Well, as you can see, this has an actual, what appears to be a bone nut, but it's actually Corian. And I actually cut that. Let's see if I can get in there and see. Yeah, there you go. I actually cut that with a Dremel. Um, rounded it off with my orbital sander and such and um, it ended up looking really nice uh, so I wasn't sure what I was going to do for the nut and then I went to the Texas uh, uh, Republic of Texas Cigar Box Guitar Festival last month and one of the fellows from Cigar Box Nation uh, Bob Johnston also went there and uh, he found me at the event I'd never met the man before I had no idea what he looked like he found me uh, apparently recognized me from one of my videos 
and he found me and he gave me a piece of Corian. What a flippin' nice guy, right? He just gave me a piece of Corian and I was like, oh my god, this is so perfect because I'm building something and I don't know how I'm gonna do the nut. So I ended up cutting the nut out of Corian. It's the first time I've tried to cut a nut like that. Um, it actually looks like it worked really well. I mean, we'll see how it holds up, but I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, we've got just two standard base tuners. I did a left and a right so that I could squeeze them closer together. Um, and if you flip it over onto the back here, you can see, here we go, there's not much room between them. They are very tight so that I could minimize the uh, space there. And uh, <coughs> that's pretty much the size of it. I put a giddy sticker there just to kind of trim it out. But that's pretty much what we got. There's no finish on this. There's no stain. It's just finished with oil. Um, I use some, uh, what do you call that, Danish oil? Is that what they call it? Anyway, just some of that standard wood oil. Um, and it ended up working really nice on this um, the whatever uh, type of uh, wood this is made out of. It's like a cutting board material or something. Um, but it's really nice because between the what I did there on the back and the um, walnut that I added, you can see there's virtually no flex in this neck, just a teeny little bit. So I might have actually made it too strong. I probably could have... Uh, just stopped the uh, enforcement maybe about here or so. I think I overdid it going all the way out there, but that's okay. Live and learn again. Um, but uh, anyway, this is what we've got. So it's it's a two string base uh, fretless with flat wound strings. So it has that nice upright tone. It's got an actual P bass pickup in it, volume and tone pot so you can roll it off and really get that kind of uprighty type warmth. I'm super excited about this one. Just finished it about five minutes ago. Um, so I'm doing this video right from the workshop. Normally now in my DIY videos is where I do a sound clip, but unfortunately the wife has some friends over inside and uh, I don't want to go in and plug in a bass amp and start thumping away. It's probably going to really irritate her. So I think this video is just going to be the overall and I'll have to do a separate video for a sound clip. Um, I did plug it into uh, the little practice amp out here, which, you know, that's nothing. But uh, I did plug it in just to make sure that everything works. Of course, I did that before I even uh, sealed it up. But I made sure everything works and... and um, whatnot so i will do a sound clip for you guys i'm sure you're anxious to hear it um I th hopefully it sounds really good but anyway here she is um the pizza paddle base uh special shout out to bob johnston for the uh, nut material and actually i do have to say where i got the idea was uh, shane spiel did a video where he talked about this was like a couple years ago and he talks about how he made a guitar out of a bellows handle which is kind of a similar shape to this pizza paddle. And that's what gave me the idea is I saw the pizza paddle and went, oh shoot, that's like the bellows. So a special shout out to Shane Spiel as well for his idea. Um, but so inspiration from a couple people and um, pretty happy with the way it turned out. It is the pizza paddle base.